you know, folks, I enjoy looking at different Linux distributions and trying to spice up the content a bit with the tutorial here and there because, as you can imagine, it can sometimes be a little bit uh, monotonous, different distributions, because often they're pretty much uh, very similar. But every now and then, I discover something that sparks my interest and I had no idea it existed. And today we're looking at something I think called Windows Dux or something which seems to be some Arch-based distribution. Yes, well today we're going to look at uh, Windows and uh, take a look at it. So I'm going to boot option A here. Okay, so welcome to the Windows X installation. Do we want to install it, repair it? Okay, let's uh, install it. So, I... This program will guide you to correctly install Windows on your computer. Press enter to... Okay. Uh, probably English in my case. What version of the OS would you like? Windows X or recommended? Okay. One. Drive one. Put resize FS. Wow, that's the file system. I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, EXE4. Huh? Type num and unit separate with space. If this unit is not specified, it uses gigabytes. The remaining disk space will be used for C partition. Huh? You know, I feel like this is some weird parallel universe. Uh, okay. I have no clue what's going on. I really feel like in some this is some weird parallel universe where... Microsoft has developed a Linux distribution and it came out 20 years ago. That's how this feels. It semi reminds me of the horrors of the days when I used. I know just because obviously I'm talking about having to install some non free XP stuff and that could be quite interesting. Okay, so I guess we just let this weird thing install. What is this? So after how many minutes I was struggling to try to find the username and password for Windows X, I eventually got it and the username is administrator and the password is admin out of the box. But I'm not suffering alone. Oh no, I'm going to let you suffer along with me to find out how difficult this was to get those credentials. Because I've complained before, but this was like the higher grade version of Spotting Waldo. So, nothing on SourceForge, because hey, why would you want that information quickly? So what did I do? You go to the website. Cool. Eventually the website loads. Great. Is it anywhere on the front page of the website? No. Okay, it must be under download. No, it's not there either. Okay. Go to documentation. No, you have to download a manual. Okay. A 17 page manual. Is it on page one of the 17 page? Two, three, maybe. No, maybe page five. No. Six? No. Oh, it's on page nine of the manual that you have to download. You know, I want to say a lot of things, but I don't want to uh, get cut off YouTube, so I'm not going to say anything. But that is absolutely the most stupid and ridiculous thing ever. Anyway, back to the blood pressure inducing distro. So once you... Uh, magically uh, log into this thing you get uh, presented with a seriously very confused looking Linux distribution so looking at it uh, it's using Thuna file manager so I think what they've done here is they've taken XFCE well they have taken XFCE and they have customized it so interestingly uh, let me first try to fix the resolution so system no, application settings, no, hardware peripherals, monitor. Okay, let's uh, 920 by 1080. Let's keep this configuration and let's go. Okay, so looking at this uh, 
parallel universe if uh, Windows 95 or 98 was based on Linux, probably look something like this. So here we have this uh, start menu and we have accessories, ease of access, entertainment, uh, react size. Okay, I don't know what that actually does. Uh, system tools, task manager, which does nothing. Uh, command line, which opens up a command line or terminal. Oh yeah, no, this gets weirder. I'll show you now when I open up the farm manager. Okay, and then back to accessories, of course, we have an internet browser, which then it opens up, uh, you know, Wine Internet Explorer. Yes, because they've combined a lot of wine into this, which was to be expected. Uh, notepad, right? It's actually mouse pad, but themed. So they're obviously trying to make this, uh, make Windows people feel at home. Uh, WordPad. You got a wine WordPad. Well, you can't get WordPad in newer editions of Windows, so it's a plus, plus, plus one for this. Calculator. React OS calculator. Wow. And uh, React OS Paint. Really interesting. So that's accessories, which, of course, would confuse the heck out of me. And you've got control panel. Hardware peripherals, right? Linux, advanced system configuration. And here you have a task manager, right? Yeah, uh, running. So they've really tried to integrate as much of the wine stuff uh, as possible. And then Windows, if I get add or remove, uh, I click install to install a program. So we'll try that in a moment. And then. Uh, Linux programs, you've got CPUX, right? And of course, you also have Firefox as well, right? And can't get a network working here for, so let's go to uh, hardware peripherals, no, system, Wi-Fi settings. Managed networks. Just. Sheesh, this thing. By trying to make it simple, it's made it so difficult. Uh, application, hardware peripherals. Okay, well, I guess I'm not testing and storing Windows software. Right clicking, of course, applications. Same thing again, because they're just. Uh, except CE, but I'm going to show you something. If I click home here, this looks pretty normal, right? Program files. Ah, program files on Windows. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I know. Wait for this. Click on computer, and now mind is blown. You've got your C drive. Yeah, even says Windows. Yeah. That's just freaking weird. Then you can go back here. You have your B drive, which is your Linux drive. Yeah. Yeah. And your D drive, which I guess is for software and stuff. So this is confusing. Like, I see what they were trying to do. Trying to make it a whole, you know, I'm familiar with Windows 9X and I want to use that now instead of Linux. But, uh, good grief. This is really, you know, this is like Freddy meets Jason, you know, uh, or Alien meets Predator. Because this is absolutely one of the most confusing things I have ever had the opportunity to try. Uh, uh, advanced internet browser. Oh, that stupid thing comes up. Advanced. Oh, oh. 
Okay, let me be slower this time. Advanced options and tweaks. That's just file manager. And a normal terminal. Well, that's command line. What the heck is this? Wow. I have to use just commands. That uh, takes me back. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, that is quite interesting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, version. Okay. System info. Okay. Let's take a look at that, I suppose. Okay. We. Okay. Available devices. Okay. So it's using the Linux kernel 5.19. A random and interesting choice there and the windows user and administrator users are here and uh, really interesting uh, can i do ip config not just ip no uh -huh. that would have been entertaining why can't i get the networking working on this thing I think this thing feels like it only s seems to be supporting Wi-Fi for some bizarre reason. I don't know. So, folks, what do you think of this uh, distro? I don't want to use the term horror, but it, it could be a horror movie. If you take two of the worst bits of... Uh, if you take uh, the two worst bits of Linux and Windows, you get this. The difficulty of Linux, where nothing seems to be working out of the box, with the confusing interface of and an outdated interface of Windows, and you put them together with a limited uh, command prompt. Yeah, okay. Folks, I'm going to look at something else now. Possibly uh, go do something else uh, to forget about this. Let me know your comments below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.